name's Greg Morgan and I am the chairman of our gardening club at Burnham Community College. We applied for a big lottery fund grant which would en enable us to utilise a spare piece of land at the back of the school. It's enabled us to build several raised beds. We've got 10 allotments which are rented now to local residents, two allotments used for the school purposes and it's enabled us to introduce pupils to fresh fruit, fresh vegetables and to taste vegetables in their natural state. Hello, my name's Caroline James. I work for the Big Lottery Fund and I'm a policy and learning manager. The approach that local food have taken to working with projects and organisations, giving the support that they need and the development and the networking opportunity is vital to their success. Big Lottery Fund is very much, um, we work in a variety of ways, but we're not set up necessarily to give the kind of support and development that organisations like Royal Society of Wildlife Trust delivering local foods can give that vital and important support. I was asked could I pick a, another project somewhere in the country to go to. Wayland fitted the bill because they've been going several years. They're at a stage now where I'd hope to be in four or five years time. So if we can each get something out of it, even if it's something little that will assist us with our gardening projects, I think it's a great idea. I'm Bev Page, community education worker here at Wayland Academy. Five years ago we had no garden, we didn't even have an environment group, we just had four year 11 girls with the idea and we've come from that, we now have over 250 students. The aspirations I have are some shared learning, I mean we've really overcome some pitfalls in our time, we've had huge learning curves, um, but real positives have become of that. Hopefully he can get some ideas from the patch we have and hopefully we'll he hear some of his um, pitfalls and heights of his project. Hi Greg. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Come as well. Come and have a look around the garden. Thank you. We grow for not only our garden, um, another class, the Platinum Group have a garden, we supply those with flowers yeah. and we're going to have a sale, the first one next weekend and then we're going to do a farmer's market in May. This is our veg growing area, again funded with our lottery money. We've got mostly single raised beds, yes. we've got a couple of doubles down the end. They just um, enable us to grow in volume. So basically we grow for our cookery workshops yes. on Saturdays. Um, the canteen has the surplus to what we don't use, is the fair thing yes. to say. Um, the students love taking stuff home. Yep. Um, our tool shed, which again funded by our lottery. Yeah. Um, some just basic flower beds again made by the students. Our fruit cage with them, um, I think we have about nine different fruits in there now. We come to Little Diggers and this is our community gardening project. They're preschool children to give them the opportunity to come up and do some hands-on gardening. Yes. This is our cob oven, we built this over a two-day period um, last winter. Yeah. Sandy subsoil, clay and with the outer layer of straw for strength. But it's a fantastic um, it facility. Come on, let's toast a marshmallow. <laughs> My name is Jonathan Clark. I'm a regional uh, policy and learning manager with the Big Lottery Fund. A lot of what we see in our, in, our, in our business is kind of like a reinventing of the wheel. And if you bring projects together, they can learn from each other, uh, they, can, they can spark off each other as well. They, they, they enthuse each other and the enthusiasm. And we end up with better projects, we end up with better value for money. As far as the lottery is concerned, this is absolutely fantastic to uh, get projects together. Well, we're trying to move away, I think, from, from being just a cash point for projects to actually looking at what we can also add value to the projects. And this is a, a really uh, important area, is actually bringing those projects together, that post-award learning. So if, if we can do that, if the projects can learn from each other, we're going to end up with better projects. Um, they're going to make a bigger difference to, to communities and to the lives of people most in need, which is, is really what the, the focus of, of the big lottery funding is all about.
the whole experience has been a learning curve for me really. Seeing how Wayland, and Bev in particular, has produced such a, a lovely learning environment for the pupils. Utilising different things like tyres, old bricks, bits of fall pipe and things like that. Creating different areas of interest has been great. And for me, really rethinking what we do with our end produce. I mean, yes, we use some for cookery. We don't provide the canteen with enough. We don't sell enough produce or plants to the staff. Um, that's something I'll certainly be rethinking for the future. I mean, there are huge learning curves and, you know, yeah. it's good to appreciate yes. what each other has done, I think, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. One thing that I particularly has got out of this is the enthusiasm to carry it forward and extend it and build on what we've got rather than sticking to the traditional and saying, look, we'll go along these lines, see how this takes us. And this has given us great ideas as to what we're going to be doing. I'm going to read you a poem now that I have written about your garden and why I'm here. Our college allotment and garden are still in their infancy. We only started last year with a grant from Big Lottery. I entered a Christmas blog poem in a competition by Local Food about things that we had done all year. Some things were hard to include. Because I don't usually win things, to come first was a surprise to me. Now we are here in Norfolk, at Wayland Academy. They have plants and flowers growing in tyres, a polytunnel full of seeds, chicken coops, ponds and bugged hotels, in fact everything for their needs. Our projects run on similar lines, if not in size but in education. This is to get pupils eating wholesome food and taking part in its cultivation. I'm taking back lots of ideas of things I will try to do. So to the staff and pupils at Wayland, I just wish to say thank you. To share knowledge and learn from others is something we all should do. So a big thank you to all at Local Food. This one is down to you. <laughs>